Hey there, Fellow Strikers. Trick Skimming here, bringing you a final update on Monster Strike. And this is a pretty sad update because Monster Strike is coming to an end on August 1st, if you guys haven't read about it. But if you haven't, let's read it together here right now. Monster Strike Closure. So, dear Strikers, after running for several years, it pains us to say it, but the English version of Monster Strike will be closing. It was hard to come to this decision, but despite efforts to keep the English version going, it hasn't quite seen the success we had hoped for. So I guess the success, um, they're trying to get the success on uh, the same par as the Japan version of the game, which is really successful. But I guess you cannot compare a, because we have different cultures, uh, North American culture and Japanese culture. Japanese culture, they would spend a whole paycheck just to roll for these gachapon based games versus North American based players they're, they're kind of stingy they won't spend as much money into the game they won't spend their whole paycheck on the game they rather spend it on something else <laughs> aka like uh, they rather go drinking they rather go partying they rather go buy like new shoes or whatnot but Japanese players when they, if they want something They'll, they'll spend their whole paycheck on it. So let's continue on with the second paragraph. When we first launched the game, we were really hoping to bring the joy of Monster Strike to players everywhere. There had never been a monster slinging game before, and there will never be another one quite like it. That I agree, because this is the southern key point for me to continue playing the game. Because it's a one-of-a-kind game, and I really like the RPG elements of it. Um, we'll also, you will always remember the first play video that we made for YouTube when we lost a close match against Inari X, or the passionate comments that were posted on Facebook during the choppy waters we navigated through together last year. Last year being the time when they took out social co-op and they kind of rebranded the their vision of playing Monster Strike. They want local co-op and that didn't turn out really well because most of the players before that, I already had line groups going or using WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger to play together from different parts of the country or even different countries and all together. So we've been really grateful for your support, for everything you've done to keep us going over the years. We owe you our thanks. So that's a pretty nice way of them to close the paragraph, saying a big thank you to the players. <coughs> Though Monster Strike is ending, we'll be going out with a bang. Here's the schedule over the next few months. So we have three months to play this game left, and they're planning to come up with a lot of colossal quests, a lot of impossible quests and all the new transcendents that are supposedly coming out this year I guess they're releasing it all now uh, I guess we're pretty catch caught up to the JP version aside from the special collaboration monsters that we will never get we haven't got one special collaboration monsters I was hoping that to collab with Marvel comics or something but that's a pretty big deal since this game is not really big, Marvel probably won't sign a contract saying, oh, okay, let's do a collaboration in the North American region for Spider-Man, X-Men, or whatnot into this game. But it, was, it wasn't going to happen. It was, it was a dream. So, August 1st, 2017, servers will shut down. We've really enjoyed playing with all of you over these past years. From here forward, we'll be shifting our attention to new adventures that we hope you'll enjoy even more. There's lots more to come from us here at X-Flag, and we hope you'll come along for the ride. See you around, Strikers. So taking down the game, maybe they'll come up with a new game that's not necessarily Moss Strike. They'll come up with a new game. I guess it's going to be another Japan-ported game over and... They're gonna test how it's gonna be again for like North American for North America players. 
and PS mouse check team. And then if you go back, this Q and A here. But the question that kind of hit me the most is, is there a chance that mouse strike may open, may reopen? So they are, they're saying there are no plans for bringing the English version of Monster Strike, Monster Strike back at the moment. So uh, right now they're closing it down and it'll be sh shut down for now. But it, at that phrase at the moment, so there it there may be a slight chance that I may come back. I guess the my thought into this little phrase is that they're testing the waters. They're tearing down the game for now because they are doing really bad. But what they're aiming for I guess is when you know how the anime is ongoing right now. If that gathers a lot of attention to North America or even in the global scene, like a lot of people are watching it on Crunchyroll, YouTube, it's all subbed so it's it's all good. It's getting getting attention for sure. But if it gets enough attention, maybe they'll remarket or bring back the game or rebrand the game as a relaunch. But for sure, they're going to shut down the servers for a year at least. And maybe they'll be back two years from now. Who knows? But yeah. Can you refund my money? That is the dumbest question ever. Because money you spent on the game, it's... Uh, First of all, you're supporting the game, right? In the first place. If you're supporting a game, you don't take the money back because you're supporting it. That takes away the the thought of supporting something, you know? If you put your whole heart into like, oh, I'm going to support something. Then, but I don't care about return. Then you're, uh, you're, congrats, you're a really big fan. But if you're thinking in a way that I'm going to spend my money but if I don't get a, what I want I want my refund back because I, I didn't get to do what I want in the game that's just that's just unfair yeah but what can I say it's it's just really I don't even know what I'm saying anymore it's just really painful to see uh, that the time I spent on this game definitely a lot I know a lot of other people spend a lot of time playing the game as well but for me I spent almost uh playing almost every day back then until they slowed down on the content release I was grinding for uh, XP's I was grinding for more links I remember back when it first started the stats the more link stats they were so low you had to grind um, a certain map I forgot what it's called oh my god it's, it's just coming back now but my group of friends that I play with uh, from line we farmed a lot of uh, those red moorlings just to power up uh, Queen Butterfly. I remember it was like that. Queen Butterfly was uh, my first max luck, and everyone was using her because you can bring her into Izanami, and Izanami kind of was a top tier unit back then. Yeah, good times, good times. But other than that, it's. That's it for Monster Strike. Um questions that you'll probably have for me is that will you be playing this game knowing that they're closed down one I won't be playing as much anymore definitely because uh, I know that all my hard work is gonna get wiped out anyways there's really no point for me to try to play the game anymore and second question would probably be would I be playing the Japanese version um, probably not because one I don't I can't read Japanese even though you told me even though you tell me there are translations and the layouts all the same you just have to memorize it then uh, yeah it's just not for me because I don't feel comfortable seeing another language that I'm that I haven't learned and third what is gonna happen to this channel I still haven't really decided yet I could st stop just posting uh, videos all together and shut down a channel but I guess I could upload a, a new game that I could play I've been playing Pokemon Duel 
Fire Emblem Heroes. I may go back to Terra Battle because that was pretty fun. And there's also Final Fantasy Brave Exvius for the um, mobile apps. But that's just about it. I haven't really decided what to do with the channel. If you guys have some suggestions, don't be afraid to post them down in the comment section below. Also, you can comment below. Just tell me what you guys thought about this uh, whole closure announcement kind of thing. And will you be playing or porting or transferring yourself to the JP version of the game? Me, myself, I'm sorry, but I won't be playing the JP version of the game. Um, but I'll still post up videos of what's left, like the new Colossal Quest and the new Extreme Quest that will come out, or the Impossibles that will come out. As for Hatcher videos, I know this channel is probably filled with them. I'll probably post my last Hatcher video around mid-July probably because uh, they'll probably come out with a lot of other new units hopefully <laughs> but yeah that's it for me it's been a long video actually it's already 12 minutes in uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video which is probably the Colossal Quest alright peace out